Welcome and good morning. Uh, my name is Steve Goodman. I'm one of the two co-directors of Metrics, otherwise known as the Meta, Innova Meta Research Innovation Center at Stanford. We'll be calling it Metrics hereafter. And uh, welcome to this uh, first biannual uh, meeting of um, hopefully a very interesting, eclectic, and committed group of folks um, who are interested in making biomedical research and research more generally as good as possible. Um, we have a uh, great uh, set of speakers today, uh, but more importantly, we have a spectacular audience. And we hope uh, with the structure of the two days uh, that you will both uh, get to know each other uh, much better, uh, both personally and professionally, so we all learn how to make our work, our collective work better. So uh, on behalf of myself and uh, John Enides, my co-director, and Debbie Dunn, our executive director, and Dan Finelli, our senior scientist, we're really delighted that we could uh, bring you all here today. And we're gonna hear first from John, then from Harry Greenberg, our senior associate dean for research, and then I will talk about the structure of the conference and how we have put it together in a way that hopefully uh, will uh, both allow you to uh, have some fun and also get something done. So with that, John. Good morning. I, I also want to welcome you to this conference, uh, which is a, a dream uh, come true. Uh, for our center. I, I think that uh, it's a conference that you will run, uh, you know, the audience will run. The, the speakers uh, have been told that they should not exceed 10 minutes, and I have been told that I should not exceed, uh, uh, I don't know, <laughs> five minutes or so. Uh, I just want to set the tone of um, uh, why we're doing this. We're trying to get to solutions. We're, we want to hear about the problems, but I think many of us know about the problems, but we also want to get to solutions. And I think it's a very opportune time to see a new discipline being um, created. Uh, so meta-research or research on research or the science uh, of science is um, a very prolific field. Uh, about a month ago, we put together a paper in PLOS Biology along with uh, Steve, uh, Debbie, and uh, Dan where we try to summarize what is included within uh, that discipline and what are the big challenges. And uh, this is a very brief definition. It's about how to perform, how to communicate, how to verify, how to evaluate, and how to reward science. And that could include theory, it could include observation, uh, or uh, just data collection, uh, experiment, uh, applications, and also policy, making things happen. And, uh, under each one of these topics, there's lots of very different things that one could imagine, that one could try to uh, optimize, and uh, this is really the agenda of this conference. How do we work on all of these fronts of methods, of reporting, of reproducibility, of evaluation, and, and incentives, and make things happen? Uh, science is the best thing that has ever happened to human beings. I don't tire myself to say that again and again. Uh, but we can do it better, and, and we can do it more efficiently, probably, in many regards. There's a lot of action in, in that field. Uh, if you go to our website, we've tried to put together a literature of uh, studies that pertain to meta-research along these dimensions, and just for the first five months of 2015, there's over 800 papers that are relevant to this topic, and I'm sure that we're missing still a lot, So, and we would need some feedback to try to optimize that. There's lots of initiatives. Uh, this is a very busy slide, and it's just one of several where we try to list some of the organizations and entities and uh, uh, new efforts that have been launched, many of them very recently trying to work in this field. And you will recognize many of those as being your own, but there's others that are not necessarily here, uh, but we would like to get involved, and probably there's many others that uh, are not in our list. And uh, where are we now? Uh, well, the, the good news is that we're starting from a point that we can definitely have plenty of room for improvement. Uh, in a sample of 500 PubMed papers published in 2000 to 2014, 259 of those have empirical data, and of those we found that one had a full protocol. Actually, that was a paper that was the protocol, uh, and none had all the raw data available. So uh, our starting point has plenty of room for improvement in, in that regard. 
And uh, there's multiple initiatives that are probing different segments of the literature. Some of them have looked, for example, at preclinical research with reproducibility rates ranging from 11 to 25 percent. Uh, Brian Nosek and uh, his uh, team uh, recently published that very famous uh, already uh, science paper looking at the reproducibility of psychological science with 64% of uh, creme de la creme studies not being possible to, to replicate. And there's many, many other efforts across almost any field that you can imagine in science. And sometimes very remote fields seem to have commonalities that no one could imagine. For example, if you compare neuroscience and economics, what could they have in common? Well, they share very similar patterns of engagement and of study contact with their average power being less than 20% and in many subdisciplines being less than 10%. And we have documented that uh, both in your science and economics. So maybe some of the solutions may be similar. So getting people from different ways of life to work on identifying these solutions and transplanting solutions that work in one discipline to other disciplines is really a priority for this conference. And I look forward to having lots of fun discussing these uh, problems and how to solve them. Thank you.